How's it going, you guys? Okay, so right now it's half past midnight, and you know, I just did some things I've been meaning to do all week, so that's why I'm filming it too late. Well, so late, and my melatonin is starting to kick in. So, I'll make this quick. Okay, so, this past week, it started out great, but the past couple of days have been rough. Maybe it's from fatigue. Be maybe it's because I have Thanksgiving fever. You know, me, my dad, and Fee are going to Texas again this year. And, you know, because last year was so much fun, I'm looking forward to it. And plus, I'll have an entire week off of work. And, you know. So, I'm looking forward to that. And this year, we're actually leaving a day early. A, a day earlier than last year. Because my dad insists on going to Tennessee. For their barbecue. One of the things that Texas is known for. But I guess Nashville barbecue hits differently than Texas barbecue. Who knows? I'll know when I I'll know when we get there. I am just so glad that this year is almost over because I mean I've been to like three funerals this this year and I started out this year as a landscaper. Then I progressed to being a dishwasher at Harry's while having a side gig at, at Piedmont. Then Piedmont went to hell and Harry's closed down and now I have the job I have now. So, landscaper, mm, mm, mm. this is my fourth job in one year. Like, what the hell? Thankfully, I have confidence that I'll have this job for for some time of course i can't predict the future so but i'm so glad that this year is almost over because this year has been one of those years that honestly i think the only year in in my life that's the only two years that come to mind that are worse than 2023 what is 2020 and my entire fifth grade School year. Yeah, I freaking went there. That's how aggravated I am with this year. On one hand, yeah, I'm glad that this year is almost over. But these three things almost make 2023 somewhat bearable. And that's my new job. The fact that I met Caitlin. And 98% of my OCD has been phased out. And I did it without anyone's help. Of course, I do still have OCD still. But, like, mainly... The only... The only aspects of my OCD that, that I still have... Are the aspects that actually benefit me. Like, I have to be in bed by... Like, a certain time. Or else I'll have an, an entire week of bad luck. You know, I have to do my laundry twice a twice a week, and you know, I have to get my get my bed sheets and the washer every other week, and you know, I have to take the trash out every Thursday night. Basically, stuff that's mainly just common sense, and plus, it also helps me stay out of trouble. So, but. I'm getting off topic because I tend to ramble when I'm tired, but I'm sure that all the all the frustration and all the hardships I've endured this year will be worth it in the in the long run. But until then, I'm just gonna have to deal with the frustration. So, 
Speaking of frustration, I'm going to get to bed. So until next time, stay, stay positive and stay awesome, everyone. See ya.